So here's something you don't recognize about this game. Uh, I have two separate P42s and they kind of look identical but you can d clearly see the difference here with both P42s as you know this one has that kind of shine or glaring or that shading on that clear you know and this one just looks like it's all dried up and I don't know but which one would you decide is better because um, you know I mean they both look good regardless but here's something I think it would be best to show about this engine and um, let's actually go into surveyor 2.0 actually I feel as though this would be a great opportunity to uh, do now this engine obviously if I can click on it here let's see it's a little bit difficult to click on things because you got so many objects in the background and everywhere that it's hard to click on stuff it can be difficult for trains 22 users but the point that I'm trying to make here is that this engine has a locomotive skin but even if you change that skin to 1 to 3 you won't get any result out of it and we're talking about this engine right here like this engine won't work for skins um, now we can go to our old-fashioned engine before we got a newer one well basically in general this is it's the same one but Obviously, Erin Trains thought that they could make this engine a lot more better and refurbish, but really, it's just the same thing. It's not. It's no difference. Um, so, actually, it was a failed attempt that they tried to make, and it didn't work out. But, what I had done was, um, I wanted to make a repaint for NJT, the P40. So, when I made that repaint, I figured the repaint would be on this engine. But I figured that repaint will be on this engine because the target was to be on this engine, not on this one. So I realized that it was a total failure and it didn't work. So I went back to this engine and when I repainted the engine, I figured it was going to be this engine. But look at this. When I go down and I go to select my skin properties here check this out so I don't really have my skin engine on this one which is kinda of crazy we'll cycle through again nothing so obviously our skin is not located now here's something else and let me show you guys what I mean by this that this did not work for me let's type in NGT here alright we're back um, sorry for the uh, delay but we had to I had to figure out a situation with this train that for some odd reason the repaint that was just done was not functioning it did not work and the risk paint that I was talking about was on is this engine so let's go back to it let's click on our engine here let's go into our properties and here's the magic trick since the repaint so for some odd reason this engine is saying modified obsolete don't know why have no idea but when trying to make a repaint with this engine specifically it doesn't work you can never it will never happen never I don't know why um, it, it it sucks sadly but I fixed the issue and I created the NJTP 40 repaint so but initially let me show you the repaint here hopefully it'll load up no not loading up again okay so we're back to square one again <laughs> the repaint does not work for this engine 
I do not know why. Um, let me see if I can load it up again. There's, just bear with me, guys. Bear with me on this. It's a struggle. It's not a struggle doing repaints, but it's a struggle just trying to load these things and trying to get them working. I don't understand. All right, but just bear with me here. I, I appreciate your time. All right, so thank you guys for being very patient with me on this matter that I figured it out and I realized the root cause. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention to you guys, but I'll talk about this after the situation. Um, you probably you guys haven't already noticed about the catenary wires that I put up. These are actually the wires they use at Washington Union Station. Um, you can see these little electric cue things here hitting under the wires and whatnot. Pretty awesome how they had this in Washington Union Station, but um, they actually do have this down there. Like if you are at one of the platforms and you just look at the wires, you can really tell that these things are really here. And Americans obviously use this in real time, but they never use it in a simulation game. So, but back to the matter at hand about this P42 and the repaints. Um, like I said, I wanted to repaint this into a NJT P40, but I could not do it um, because for some odd reason, this engine files are linked to this engine basically. So I can only repaint this engine. I can't repaint this one. Um, there was an attempt to do it, but it was a failed attempt. It did not work. So I found out the reason to why my repaint didn't show up for the P42 for the NJT repaint. It's not because of the engine, it's because of Surveyor 2.0, because let's give it a try, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if I go into my properties, I scroll down and select my locomotive skin, because you know, it changes whenever you select a skin, basically. And I go from one, it hasn't changed. Two, it has changed. Three, it changed again, but they're all saying Amtrak. Now, just bear with me here on this. Now, as I leave Surveyor 2.0 and go to my classic Surveyor, there is a difference. So, let's try it. If it doesn't work, it has something to do with Surveyor 2.0, and it's conflicting. I go to my engine here. Let's see. One, two, three. Still didn't work. Now, um, there is an issue with this. I would say that um, I would have to certainly refresh um, the engines. Oh, you can see the repaint there, but it's not showing. That's the problem. It doesn't show. Now if I respawn another engine like this, we're going to try it again, obviously. We're going to close this one out, and we're going to go down, and we're going to do it again, the repeat. Two, three. Oh, you, did, you, did you see that? Did anyone see that? Let's, let's do that again. Now look at both engines. Did anything change out of those both engines? One. Two. Oh, they both changed. Wow. Three. They both changed at the same time, which is crazy. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, so let me do something else here. I'm going to select this one because it has to repaint, but it won't show. So here's the tricky parts. Let's see what happens if I try to make it show. This is so strange. Nope. Ah, there it is. There's the repaint, guys. Oh, there it is. Besides the numbers, which are oh, stuck on there deliberately. But got it to work. But sadly, it only worked in Classic Surveyor. This repaint would not have worked in this, you know, uh... On Surveyor 2.0 which sucks all right let me see if I can convert this over without it corrupting 
Oh, oh, see, see, I told you. It has a lot to do with Surveyor 2.0. For some reason, it conflicts and it just, my repaint disappears. So if this is happening to you guys, or if have you ever created a repaint for Trains 22, if you bought the game and you wanted to make a repaint, um, do take note of this because this is something that might be a glitch or a bug. It might be an issue. It might be something. So, you know, just, um, you know, people who got this beta or they tried it out, um, you know, do take notice of it because uh, you might have a favorite engine or a favorite uh, repaint that you love and you like and you want to edit the properties in Surveyor 2.0 on it, it might not change. But this has something to do with the skin changer. I don't think it has a lot to do with the engine itself. Uh, I think that, you know, it's just this thing has a skin changer on it. So if you had like, I mean, if you made a repaint that didn't have a skin changer, you would be fine. You can make the repaint and it would stay the same. You can go into Surveyor 2.0 up here, switch modes, and it really won't affect your repaint. But this is something I found and it's crazy. Now, if I wanted to, if I wanted to rechange that repaint again, Okay, so I'm back. So the repaint works in the classic surveyor. So um, I'm not entirely sure why, but it does work. Um, I recommend to just stay in surveyor classic mode and not in surveyor 2.0 because for some odd reason it will change. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy how, um, the repaint didn't work that time, but now it did. So, sadly, I didn't want the repaint on this engine. I wanted the repaint on this engine, sadly. But, unfortunately, guys, it didn't happen. But I'm still working on it, though. I'm still working to see how this can be done and I'm sure people are like trolling my vids to see how things are and like watching everything but that's fine um but anyways about the catenary wires um they are here in that uh, I was trying to do some research to find out what wet catenary wires they used so it, it was very difficult to find what they used and it was like you know so I had to look at videos and I had to uh, find things on the download station and I happened to find wires like this. They're called AC4, um, but these things are not, they're not essentially from America actually, they're not. They're from a whole other country. So these things you see and everything else, Americans are using things from other countries. They're not using things that are actually built in America, which is very sad to say the least. I mean, Really, it is. So, but just standing from a far view, you gotta like the view, though. I mean, you gotta like, you know, how the way it's designed and everything else. But, um, yeah, guys, watch out for uh, Severa 2.0 and it ruining your repaints. If you have a skin changer and you want to make a repaint of it, be warned because this is like a this has to be a glitch it has to be a bug it has to be something so um but anyways um it's not it's, this is going to be a very challenging thing to do it really is <laughs> like i'm not even going to lie to anyone like this is really going to be a challenge man like this is going to be a very tough challenge man like but uh, anyway i absolutely love the way they are the wires it looks very detailed you know, and the wires are really wide. They're not, they're not like thin. You know, they're very open and wide. That's how it should be, you know. Have it more realistic. Anyway, guys, take care. Thanks for watching this short video. Um, appreciate you guys a lot, though. Um, so, anyways, uh, you guys take care.
and have a good one.